The seemingly never-ending collection of peaks and valleys fall on top of one another like layers of an intricately made scrapbook, with the blue-hued mountains falling to meet the bright green patches of remote farmlands and clusters of dense green evergreen trees. At 4,800 feet, I look a cloud in the eye. Now we're going to define experiential learning. Yeah, let's see what experiential learning is first. Okay. What do we think this is? Well, I would actually change the term from experiential learning to expeditionary learning. Expeditionary learning. Expeditionary learning. And the reason why I say that is because it's not just about the experiences that our students are taking, but it's also about the fact that they're taking a journey. Some of the learning goals of the college can really only be met through expeditionary learning. There is so much learning that happens outside of the classroom and Mila's really give you the opportunity to engage with that mentality hands-on. Once you're outside of your local context and your familiar terrain, then the quality of that learning community becomes the baseline of how learning operates and individuals within it become more and more important to each other. The initial Mila's were a Mila's abroad. We all started thinking that perhaps we were forgetting a really important part of the world, which was America. Right, we expect when we go to Ireland that we will encounter profound boundaries that we will need to negotiate, but we maybe we don't expect that of our own country. And so we took the risk of deciding that the Potomac would stand for the United States to see the intense richness that they had not encountered before and to try to connect to that as an American or as someone who's living in America. So Mila courses offer people um, an experience to get away for two weeks rather than going for an entire semester. If you're interested in taking a Mila course, my first intuition is to tell you to do it. Scoops up the resources. How many classrooms did we build mm. on the Potomac? I mean, we had hotel rooms, docks. Picnic table picnic areas. Picnic table areas. <laughs> right. Tops uh, of mountains. Yeah. Tops of mountains, <laughs> yes. We really created shared community by the end. Yes, we did. Where do. everyone did learn to listen to each other and everyone did learn to sort of really see things and surprise each other with what they were seeing. So this trip as an interdisciplinary course brings together a lot of different disciplines. We have professors from English, neuroscience, and theater. The three of them not only contribute different skill sets and different areas of expertise and knowledge, but are, have also done just an excellent job at creating this community family feel. We all bond so much, and I think a lot of that is through exploration and through getting to learn about and try and talk about things that we wouldn't normally within our own disciplines at Muhlenberg. We actually even had students making meals for one another, which sort mm. of added a whole other layer. You really can't know someone until you've actually shared a meal with them. This is what we forged this morning. And then we're going to make chicken teriyaki as well, and then we have some stir fried teriyaki. One of the most powerful experiences for me was one of our students getting interested in building fires. It ended up being a really big piece of their writing, too. I was going to say, one of the other ways in which we saw students really develop was their relationship to the hikes that we took. Yeah, I was hoping to so, say something yes, about that. Yes, because I was thinking mm -hmm. we did take some hikes during the semester. We had some students on that first hike that were really surprised. But by the time we got to West Virginia and we were in the Dolly Sods, you know, everyone was like, we know this, mm -hmm. we're going to do this. Students have gotten internships because of this, and they've gotten the confidence to actually go after the internship. One of the students' internships is in a place we visited. Yes. A place that they would have never even been able to name had this trip not happened. I think it also says something about how ready the United States and parts of the United States are to connect as well. We invented the idea of doing a course up the Potomac, and so many people we met with seemed to understand exactly what we wanted to do and wanted to become partners in that. So in as much as Muhlenberg has afforded us this possibility and we can build these relationships, it makes me so excited to think about the people we haven't met yet. One, two, three, break. <laughs>